Good morning. A man was seriously injured yesterday after setting himself on fire outside the Moroccan consulate in Madrid. It took place in a northeastern district of the capital at around midday, and the man was taken to hospital in a serious condition. Police sources confirmed the man had set himself on fire outside the Moroccan consulate, but were unable to give further details. Unconfirmed media reports said the man was a Moroccan national in his 40s. People will no longer have to wear face masks on public transport, so the government has said ending one of the last remaining rules against the coronavirus pandemic. The rule requiring mask wearing on trains, buses and ferries expires today, but will still apply in hospitals, health centres and care homes, so the Health Minister Carolina Darius said yesterday as the measure was published in the State Gazette. Belgian police raided 26 addresses and detained 25 people yesterday as part of an investigation into a gang suspected of trafficking women from China to become sex workers. Federal prosecutors said the number of Chinese sex workers in Belgium had risen in recent years, most notably in Brussels. They believe a criminal organization brought Chinese women to Europe and forced them to become prostitutes. Similar raids were also carried out in Barcelona and Alicante. Belgian investigators want one suspect detained there to be extradited to Belgium. There's a new strike threat for travellers in the coming weeks. This time, it's the pilots at Air Nostrum, the Iberia-franchised airline for regional flights, who have called indefinite strikes that will take place on Mondays and Fridays, starting on the 27th of February. The strikes will affect all of the airline's bases, and the pilots' union says the action is a response to the company's systematic block on discussions in the face of legitimate demands. The pilots' union said the indefinite strike was called with more than 92% of the votes cast in favour. And railway infrastructure company Adif has signed a contract to install more than 1,000 electric vehicle charging points across all the autonomous communities. The project is a commitment by Adif towards the development of electromobility in Spain as it aims to promote clean transport in transfers to and from train stations. The project will receive funding for the European Union and is scheduled to be executed within 30 months. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.